welcome. This is Movie News at Five. I am your host, Hugh Jass. And on the floor, my cock. <laughs> I our, our, top, every time. <laughs> our top my story tonight, <laughs> OJ Simpson is dead. Oh, That's darn. right. Orenthal Juice Simpson has succumbed to cancer at the age of 76. Um, Karma's and he age. was a cancer all his life. Yep, karma uh, is a bitch. Karma is a bitch. It finally came and took him. Um, I I have no sympathy for this man. Me neither. I didn't even put an R.I.P. No, this was an R.I.P. He's he's gone, and <clears throat> I can't tell you how many people were like the, the piece of shit. Blah blah blah. Yeah, he absolutely killed his wife. Yeah, he absolutely killed his wife. He absolutely killed those people. And the fact that he was found not guilty was the worst travesty in the history of the judicial system. Yeah. Um, and then to have him turn around and be found guilty of, you know, you know, a wrongful death suit was put against him and he had to pay like $37 million or something like that. <clears throat> and then he was like stealing his memorabilia and all this kind of crap was happening um, so he, that's what he goes to prison for. I mean, really, just as you know, once I forget about the guy, he pops back up in the news. I really, I really didn't care what happened to him. I kind of wanted him to just drop off the face of the earth, but everybody knows now that he's gone. So, yeah, yeah let's move on. What's our next story, Mike Cock? Okay, we got Disney sets a date. For Mandalorian movie, the Toy Story 5, which I thought we were already done with Toy Story, but I guess not. And a Moana live action for a 2026 release date. The Moana one is coming out July 10th. Um, Mando's coming out, oh, sorry. Mando's coming out Jul or May 22nd of 2026. <clears throat> and Toy Story 5, June 19th of 2026. Mm -hmm. So these are still a year and a half away. Um, yeah, I'm excited for uh, Mando. I like that series. Um, Never seen it. You have not watched? I, I've not. I haven't watched any Star Wars series. None of them. This is the only one you need to watch. Not one episode of any of those series. None of them. Yeah, I like Mando. Um, the other ones are trap. I still want to watch Andor. Um, I like the very first episode. I just haven't went back to it. I've heard good things about Andor, but yeah, yeah it's, I'm just, it's not Star Wars. I mean, that's why I think yeah. I like it. It doesn't feel like Disney Star Wars, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, so you buy it or bailing on this? Um. Okay, I am. I'm bailing on everything except for Story, Toy Story Five. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, I. I don't care for Moana. Uh, I think it's great, but it's a musical. <laughs> um, and I think this is going to be a musical. So um, I'm going to have to watch it because of my granddaughter. Mm -hmm. But I love the Toy Story franchise. I'm a huge fan of that. So that's the one I'm buying. The rest of them I'm bailing on. I'm not a, I don't care about The Mandalorian. If I watched it, and yeah, I'd probably be a fan of it. But I've never seen it, so I don't care. Oh well, I'm gonna buy the Mandalorian Toy Story and bail it on Moana too. So we're we're kind of the same around that. Kind of the same, except for Mandalorian, because you've seen yeah. it. So you can, yeah, I like Mando. You can be, you know, um, yeah. Mm, What's our next story? I'm gonna I'm gonna jump around a little bit. <clears throat> okay, because I'm interested in the Crow remake. Which has been pushed back to August 23rd. And I just happened to throw that picture up. So that's that. Um, so what do you what do you think about this, bro? I mean uh, it was a smart move. Yeah, because, if you're doing it right, yeah, just do it. Just release it when you're when it's gonna be in a good spot. Yeah, because it's gonna go up against bad boys for life or bad boys yeah. ride or die. Yeah. Um the, yeah, this was a good choice. Um I, I agree. I think this was a they, good choice. The word come out of CentralCon, they showed some footage, mm -hmm. and people were happy with what they saw. Um, doesn't mean it's going to be a great movie. It's just the footage to show. People are happy to see it. Yeah. Um, 
on a, on a unrelated I note, I saw the trailer for Alien Romulus, and I absolutely loved it. So, oh, you haven't seen that yet? I haven't seen. It, it was the first time I've seen the trailer. Oh, was man. when I went to see um, not my not Monkey Man, but um, the other one, Immaculate? First Omen. When I went to see First Omen. First Omen. Um, <laughs> you buying or selling this one, or buy, buying or bailing? I'm I'm buying it. I I'm I don't it's care true. when they put it out. I'll be I'm a fan of the I'm original. Uh, I I think I can't wait to see this. Yeah, me either. I don't I don't know if they're gonna do it justice, but I, I'm still down to watch this. So yeah, I'm buying on it. All right. Next story. I'm gonna jump around like you yeah. did. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm. This is gonna be a simple one. It's gonna be easy. It's CinemaCon. It's going on in Las Vegas right now. Mm -hmm. um, Warner Brothers had their panel. And this had me excited. I know it's, it's really nothing big news because they're still filming this movie, but we get a look at James Gunn's new Superman logo at CinemaCon. I like it. It's got a um, Kingdom Come little vibe to it. I think this is a pretty cool design. I'm definitely buying this one. Yeah, I'm in. I, I'll, uh -huh. I'll buy this one. I can't say I'm a fan of the symbol so much, but I like it. It's it definitely does not look as much like an S as as the other ones have. So I think that that interests me. Are you familiar with Kingdom Come at all? No. Okay, that, that it's a it looks almost just like that, and it takes it's a an older Superman. He's gray. Um, he just, he changes his logo up to that, so it's kind of cool to see that. Okay, so this is kind of like Old Man Logan for DC. Yeah, Kingdom Come was yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but before so Old it, Man Logan. So is this? I mean, I know they 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 were going to call this Superman Legacy, but they're just calling it Superman now, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. Superman. So, it, but this isn't going to be like an old Superman. No, right? no, no. They're just using the design. They're just using design. the design. Okay. Which is, I think it's a cool, slick looking design. So I'm, I'm, I'm all in on this. Okay. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm buying it. I'm, I'm not as like, you know, it, it I, I'm like, okay, whatever. But I'm, yeah, I'm buying it. I'm still in. Um, all right. Next story. Let's talk about Jason Blum receiving reviving the Blair Witch Project for Lionsgate with a new film. And uh, we'll bring that up uh, with the snot <laughs> coming out. Um, dude, I'm buying this. I'm Me too. I'm down. I'm down. I, I didn't think that the Blair Witch Project was the greatest movie ever made, but it saved the horror franchise, the horror mm -hmm. genre. Um, by presenting the found footage element. And I really think it was it's a way to do produce a low budget movie and make your money back. Um, so this is this I, I think this is easy money. I think this I is gonna agree. work. And yeah. Jason Bloom's doing it. So yeah. I have faith in Jason Bloom. Uh, there's no word on whether this is gonna be found footage or just a typical straight up movie. It's found footage. They're revive it's found footage, bro. It has to be. They better. They have to. If you if you're gonna pull a Blair Witch true two book of shadows on me and make it not no fuck you bro don't do it yeah. just make it found footage do what you need to do make it as creepy as hell and stamp on it rated R on it I'm gonna stress that one yeah. make it rated R make it like violent and I'm in but I'm in yeah. anyway yeah I'm, yeah I'm buying it so but don't give me don't give me no PG thirteen crap. Yeah, we don't need no more PG Um yeah. I'm I'm down for that. Yeah. All right, what do you got? What do you okay. got, Mike? Uh, we, whip it out. <laughs> I'm gonna whip out um Netflix acquires horror thriller Don't Move, which is produced by Sam Raimi. Now, I wasn't I don't know a whole lot about this, so I had to look it up. This is a project is led by Kelsey somebody. <laughs> It follows this is kind of interesting take. I kind of like the synopsis of this. It says it follows a seasoned serial killer who injects a grieving woman with a paralytic agent while the two of them are isolated deep in the forest. As the agent gradually takes over her body, she must run, hide, and fight for her life before her entire nervous system falls apart. I'm in. I'm, this is a buy. This is a buy. I'm throwing my wallet at it. At yeah. 
Well, it's Netflix. <laughs> the only thing that bugs me is the Netflix. <laughs> That's the only yeah. thing. But it, Netflix isn't making it. They they buy. They're, it they're from, acquiring it. So yeah. so, and it's produced by Sam Raimi. So it's got yeah. that creepy horror stank element. Yeah. Um, I, I call you know Sam Raimi's horror is like stank horror. It's like it, it's dirty. It's it's grimy. Mm-hmm. It gets in there. It it gets all in in between your toes and stuff under your fingernails. That's Sam Raimi horror. That's what yeah. I want. Um, yeah, give me give me like give me this movie as like a like an Evil Dead like gritty type. Yeah, I'm down for this. Yeah. Me too. I'm, I'm I'm in. I'm buying it. Yeah. No, this is easy to buy. Ah, uh, all right. What you got coming? Huge ass. Huge ass. My huge ass is spreading for Renee Zellweger. <laughs> she returns for yet another. Bridget Jones movie, Mad About the Boy. Uh, yeah. Do we have a picture of that bitch? I don't see her. Yeah, yeah we do. I think we do. I, I don't see it. Put it up if you don't. Banner. Did I miss one? I'm not, I'm oh, not maybe I did. I'm not seeing the picture of it. I, I must have missed it. Yeah. My bad. Anyway, Bridget anyway. Jones coming with another BJ movie. Yeah, I'm 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 bailing on this. I'm bailing. I don't I don't want anything to do with Renee Zellweger. I absolutely hate her. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I'm I am not a fan. Not a fan. <clears throat> yeah, this is a bail. Uh, and I I didn't I didn't like any of the Bridget Jones diary movies. So yeah, no, there's no way I'm watching this, bro. Yeah, me neither. Um, so that was an easy bail for the both of us. That, that's an e- yeah, that's an easy bail. But we have this beautiful woman and her company producing a Monopoly movie. Margot Robbie in Lionsgate in the, is making a Monopoly movie. It doesn't say if um, she's starring in it. Her, it looks like her company um, is going to be just producing it. Um, they, her company did Barbie with Greta Gerwig. So and look how that turned out. We may not like the movie. But they did a good job with it, made a billion dollars. So I'm buying this one. I'm bailing on it. I don't. Bailing? I'm bailing. I mean, it's probably going to do well. It's going to, and we're probably going to have to watch it. <clears throat> but I'd rather not. I did yeah. not. I did not like Barbie. Um, it yeah, they, it made $1.4 billion more power to them. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean I have to be happy about it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm keeping my huge ass in my pants and yeah, yeah I, I bail on this, but I'm probably going to have to watch it. Yeah. I'm bailing. No, wait, I'm buying. Yeah. I said, buy. you're, oh, you're buying. I'm bailing. Yeah. You're bailing. I'm buying. All mm-hmm. right, man. All right. Nia DaCosta in talks to direct 28 years later. Um, this is the trilogy's third installment, not second installment. No, the second installment, the movie, the, the third, the second oh, movie in the trilogy. The second, okay, so the 28 years later is going to be a trilogy. Yes. Oh, dude, I'm buying this. I don't even care. Gimme. Um, <laughs> I am. Is that Naomi involved. Harris? Um, with with Killian Murphy, that looks like Naomi yeah, that's Harris. An old photo. That's an old photo. That's an old picture. Yeah, this is what they had on Variety. But yeah, I, I am not a fan of Nia DaCosta. Her two movies that she's done, I didn't yeah. like. I didn't like the Candyman, and I did not like the Marvels. Um, uh, man, Marvels. I just watched Marvels again with my wife, and I was just I, I ended up walking away. But um. <clears throat> I, I liked I liked Candyman, but it didn't get the like score that I wanted it. it. It was not even close to what the original was. So, so I'm optimistically, I'm, as I'm for right now. I'm, I'm I I'm 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 in for right now. I'm buying for now. But if she if she screws it up, I'm I'm going to form a lynch mob. And it, 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 see, it all depends on who directs that. I think. They said Danny Boyle is doing the first one, right? Danny Boyle should do them. Should do all of them. I agree. Um, um, 
So that's why, you know, Danny Boyle's doing the first one. I was like, dude, totally. Yeah. Um, I hope these talks fall through. Yeah, me too. Usually when they, when it gets announced and then talks, they're just yeah. ironing out details. They're just, they're just, yeah, they're trying to figure out when they can do it and how much money is going to be involved or whatever. Yeah. I, I'd rather, I'm I'd rather right somebody. Now. Yeah. I, I'm, a, I'm in for now. I'm ba I'm buying for now, but I'm hoping the talks fall through and somebody else does it. Fingers crossed. Yep. Okay. Our last news story, which came oh. out of CinemaCon <clears throat> today, uh, is t new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles live action movie. It's going to be rated R and it's going to be an adult leaning movie called it's coming from the comic called the last Roman where there's only one turtle left and I'm not going to spoil who it is uh, because you guys need to read this comic or see the movie, whichever I'm excited for this. This is a hands down buy for me. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so uh, I'm in, I'm, I'm buying this too. I I love the last Ronin comic book storyline. So I'm hoping I'm hoping they stick to something like that. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm in. Yeah, me too. This and, I saw this I, today. And I know like, who the last Ronin is. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. Um, this I, I'm excited for this. This is this is a no-brainer for me too. I'm so in for this. Yeah. If if this uh, was gonna be animated, I'd be disappointed. But yeah, it's gonna be live action. I'm I'm so and it's in. gonna be R. That's what yeah. has me happy. Yeah, it has me happy. R has me happy too, as considering who is involved, who the who the last run is, and what's going on. It needs uh, to be R. Yeah, I agree. It needs to be um, R. This, see, this is Paramount. CinemaCon usually Paramount is the one that kills it. Paramount, yeah, yeah they're in financial trouble for the streaming and stuff, but they've had wins theatrically. Their movies are doing good. Yeah. Um, so they just keep coming with these great announcements. So I'm excited yeah. for this. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's it's a shame that their their streaming service is is hemorrhaging, but mm -hmm. I I think they can come out of that. Yeah. They I think they have as of right now they have a potential buyer. Skydance is buying them. Yeah. Um. So hopefully that'll that'll get passed and they'll put some more money. Be okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that'll that'll help them. I mean, I'd like to see them. I'd like to see him merge with another streaming service. I know there was thoughts of Peacock and I thought Peacock Paramount. and Paramount was going to merge. Yeah, but that fell through. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen anymore. So uh, I'm a little disappointed to see that because those those two were hemorrhaging the most money and put them together, and I think that they would start doing better. Um, yeah. Much like you know, of course, Hulu and Disney are together. They're they're completely going to merge at some point, but well, they already did. But I mean, they they, they made it yeah. official just a couple of weeks ago. But there's a catch. Yeah. Like if you, excuse me, if you have Disney Plus, just Disney Plus, you yeah. still see the Hulu hub. Yeah. But if you watch something on Hulu on the hub on Disney Plus, it'll say, "Hey, you got to subscribe to Hulu." Yeah. Yeah, you don't get if you have Disney Plus, you don't get Hulu for free. Yeah. You have to sub to both. Yeah. So on that note, they're not together. <laughs> <laughs> right. But it's 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 there. dirty, but it's smart business. Yeah, you it's money. That? You know, I yeah. I I'd, I'd probably do that too or I'd do I mean, a package deal should be there, but it'll it'd be more. So Yeah, they do have a bundle. It's like I want to say it's like 20 it's 20 like 22 20, 20, something, like something like that. Yeah, something like yeah. that. I've looked into it because I I have I have both separately and I'm like, can I bundle it and save money? And truthfully, no, I can't. It's about yeah. the same. Price. See, I get my free, my Hulu and Disney plus free yeah. from my Verizon. Right. I, so, all uh, I get free from AT&T is max. So, uh, uh. <laughs> so no, no, nothing else special from AT&T <laughs> and AT&T is the only cell service that works where I live. So, Oh man. Yeah. So I'm stuck. Now we hit the sad part of our show. We hit the sad part. We hit the desk. Besides this one. No, oh, no. We yeah. have we have a couple of we have a couple of sad RIPs. Yeah. Um Bruce Kessler 
um, from the monkeys. It takes a thief and the Rockford files passed away in 88, um, peacefully in his sleep. Yeah. Um, but, long, nice long life. Yeah. Nice long life. Great person. Um, yeah. may he rest in peace. His family. Yeah. Condolences. Uh, oh, I don't want to bring that one up. That one, that one was devastating. Dan, Dan Whalen passed away 97 years old. Oscar wow. nominated and Emmy winning music mixer. Um, so definitely another guy lived a long life. Yeah. Great person. Um, I did, I did want to note, which we didn't get it on the show this time. Um, and this comes to play with our, um, our comic talk show. Yeah. Trina, Trina Robbins, um, iconic comic book creator and historian passed away at the age of 85 yesterday. Um, again, peacefully. Um, but you know, that's like one of those, like she, she were the original artist for wonder woman and, yeah um olive oil and popeye and things like that so uh may she rest and then finally cole brings plenty um is dead at the age of 27 that's young um from a car accident oh wow so uh it was like it was i was like oh no um, and he did, he's doing Gen V, which is the spinoff of the boys. No, this is, this is uh, different. That was, um, last week's guy. Last this week's is, guy. Oh no, this is something. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. This I'm looking at a different article. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's from 19, this is from 1923, the Yellowstone, yeah. um, spinoff. Yeah. So and they found him in the forest, I thought. Yeah, but he found a way from his vehicle. Okay. So, oh yeah. So let's see. So yeah, he appeared. Um, nephew of Yellowstone star Mo brings plenty. Um, approximately on April fifth, deputies were dispatched um, to an area in Kansas. Um, deputies checked the area and discovered a deceased male in the wooded area away from his vehicle. Um, the deceased male has been identified as Cole brings plenty investigated his crime scene. And, oh yeah. So cause of death is unconfirmed. This is again, I was reading the wrong, wrong article. Um, so they do not have confirmation as to what happened to him. They just found him in the woods away from his car. Dead. Yeah. So I, I mean, I think this is definite foul play here or suicide uh, or suicide. But with no, you know, no definite cause of death unless he like did it with pills or whatever. Yeah. Um, but so sorry to see that twenty seven. I suppose that twenty seven. Yeah. Um, and there's, you know, I don't want to say that's that curse, but there's the twenty seven curse with um, Michael Hutchins from NXS, Kurt Cobain, Brandon Lee, um, all these people dying at the age of twenty seven. Yeah. So, um. May you guys rest in peace. Yes. All right. Let's go. I'm, we're not going to do trailers this week because we've got, we had a big packed show. Um, so we're going to move right to new releases and coming out this Friday or coming out tonight as this thing um, lands, we have actually quite, um, quite a few, uh, quite a few things come out. First of all, we've got, um, uh, Civil War, which is the big one. Civil War comes out tonight. Um, there's a mystery movie called Sting from WellGo USA. Um, this is labeled as a mystery, but usually WellGo USA does like martial arts stuff. So this could be foreign Asian movie of some sort. Uh, the Long Game, which is a, a true story. And then the re-release of Shrek 2. <laughs> um comes out um from Lionsgate the movie Damaged comes out in a limited release Arcadian comes out um with Nicolas Cage Sasquatch Sunset comes out 
I'm really interested in that one. Um, this is from Bleecker Street Limited Release. And then we have Unsinkable, Sweet Dreams, Leroy, Texas, The Absence of Eden, Forgotten Man, In Flames, Pure O, Resistance, Food Inc., Stress Positions, Blackout, and that is in theaters, all cool. limited releases. And I'm sorry, Blackout is a horror movie coming to v video on demand, uh, coming to uh, streaming this Friday. We have the Netflix movie Woody Woodpecker Goes to Camp, which we're probably not, not going to review. We're not, we're not going to review that. Um, the Greatest Hits, which is a romance movie from Searchlight, comes out on Hulu. Um, and of course, the Fallout series is premiering on Prime Video. Yeah, and they uh, dropped all the episodes at once. So yeah, they dropped, me, they dropped the whole thing. So I'll just I'll binge it when I get a chance. But see, to me, that just a sign of maybe the show's just not that good. I don't, because, I've heard good things though. I, I've, I've heard. But if things. it was good, they would have done what they did with the boys weekly to keep that its audience. So to me, that just kind of shows that maybe they don't have confidence in it. It's not that great. Yeah, I'd I I'd, I'd rather them do it once a week. <laughs> Because that keeps me that keeps me invested, yeah. but yeah, if I'm just gonna if it's all there, I'm just like, well, I'll binge it when I'm ready, and then I'll just watch everything in one shot. Yeah. Um, but could we got coming out to physical? Um, it's a big week, but nothing really major is hitting physical. Um, on the 16th, so we have comeback kids, middle school basketball story. Cut Color Murder, uh, Devil's Peak Year One, Double Down South, Exile, Mr. Sleep, uh, The Last Kingdom, Seven Kings Must Die, The Star City Murders, the final season of Jack Ryan, and Walden starring Emil Hirsch. But yeah, nothing, no major players coming out next week. Yeah. Ooh, um, but the 23rd, we got beekeeper and a couple others that I'm looking forward yeah. to. So, um, I'm down for that, but that's, it. that's pretty much that's it for new releases. Yeah, man, this was this jam packed news week. Uh, probably next week we'll have more than five stories because CinemaCon's still going on. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta do CinemaCon some more stuff from there. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, we'll, Maybe do some trailers again. We'll see how many reports we get. Yeah. Um, but like I said, I, I saw the trailer for Alien Romulus and I loved it. Did you see the Joker 2 trailer? Please tell me you saw the Joker no, 2 trailer. I haven't seen that. that oh, I've not seen that trailer God. yet. You're going to hate it because they're saying there's 15 songs in this. Oh, uh, I'm going to hate it. <laughs> I'm uh, so going to hate it. There's one scene in the trailer is just fucking fantastic. Um, uh, when, you need to go watch that trailer next week on By the Numbers. Watch it before we do By the Numbers next week so we can talk about um, the Joker 2 trailer on By the Numbers. Okay, I'll do that. All right. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to put my cock back in my pants and, and take my huge ass, and we're going to get out of here. <clears throat> Because unless I, unless we have something else that I missed, I think we're done. Nope, that man. Remember, right. guys, watch some movies. Watch some movies, and we'll bring you some more movie news next week. By the numbers, huh. next Wednesday will be episode sixty-five. I'm wow. looking forward to doing that. We're going to take a look at First Omen, hopefully Arthur the King, and a yeah. bunch of other movies. Until then, this for my cock. I'm Hugh Jass signing off. We'll see you next time on Movie News at Five. Bye, everybody. See you guys.